Like many shoppers at Tom Leonard's, Jade Conyers is feeling the impact of high prices every time she goes out for groceries. I've been shopping at different places to try to catch the best prices. Price increases are trickling down and impacting how customers choose what they ultimately purchase. To combat higher food prices, shopper Tom Billup says he and his wife stick to their list and only buy what they need. I'm out and about so I can buy smaller quantities of things that we know we'll use. One product that has been hit pretty hard with prices is produce. The price of produce is always cyclical, but due to colder weather in the South, it's causing prices to rise. Andy Harris, the director of store operations at Tom Leonard says, he noticed an uptick in prices starting a few months ago. The price hikes were caused by increases in transportation and gas prices but not due to supply chain issues that chain grocers are facing. If you go to the Kroger's right now and the Food Lions and the Publix, and you're gonna see it at the shelves. The reason for that is they are allocated through a distribution center. Um, I'm not allocated through anybody. Since Tom Leonard stocks their shelves through local farmers and vendors, Harris says it has worked in their favor. If somebody doesn't have it, I can go somewhere else to get it. Or if somebody is trying to raise the price, I can go somewhere else to get it. Customers are not expecting prices to come down anytime soon, so as long as sticker shock is felt, they will continue to think twice before going to the checkout aisle. For VCU News, I'm Natalie Barr.